morning and welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. Good morning and welcome to Slim Chat. It's Tracy, and um, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I hit it like that though. Just with a little Peter point will do. And the notification bell. Oh, I hate. Them. I can't get my mouth around these words. Notification bell. See, it sounds so silly if I try and say it. Notification bell. Notification bell. Well, just hit it anyway. So, good morning. <clears throat> I'll say good morning. It's late morning. I had a big old long sleep, which is uh, obviously was much needed, but woke up. Oh, so stiff. Hard to get going. Hard to get going. But, you know, eventually, after a tea, um, it's my dirty cup. <clears throat> after a cup of tea, you know, get going a little bit. Bit of mess there. <clears throat> At least I tidied the yarn up. That was a lot of mess. It's now in the carrier bag, ready to um, work on and find homes for. But I did leave this one out, because I really want to try and start something with that. Anyway, um, so I weighed myself this morning, and um, whereas I've been eating everything that's got lots of calories in it, and I mean, you know, puddings, chips, and I mean fries, and I mean real big fat ones, not those little spindly jobs that you get with mcdonald's because i can't eat those are too scratchy but i want nice big fat juicy chips i've been eating that a lot a lot i had a big indian um so yeah i've been having lots of high calorie foods as well as chocolate milk which is beautiful and um the only shake that i can have that they wanted to me to have these smoothies that they gave me but i can't they're just not nice i, I can't handle it pineapple one wasn't so bad but it just it coats every inch of your mouth and it seems impossible to swallow and it's just really I can't do it anyway <clears throat> so I've been eating and drinking lots of fattening stuff so I thought you know lost two pounds I know that when I saw that really lovely doctor he said I said to him when can I stop all this eating like massive amounts you know when can I like get back to eating uh, normally and he went well we'd rather you just did this not this so uh -huh. so actually i'm doing what he said i've not put on any weight but i don't feel like i'm eating things that are really that nutritious you know oh chips have vitamin c in that's about that but you know it's it's stuff that's going to keep my calories up which is what they want but um well, today I'm having steak, you know, whoa, and maybe a lamb, lamb steak. I'll probably only eat one. I used to, when I, I always used to say to Gary, look, when I'm doing low carb, I need two, you know, a lamb steak and a, and a steak. But when I'm not doing low carb and I've got carbs on my plate, I really need one, one meat. But you know, Gary. Um, and I, I know I always enjoy the lamb more, but we'll see, we'll see. Which uh, it depends which one I can chew, if any. But we're going to have sweet potato wedges with it. Um, Gary will have onion rings. I'm not really a fan of onion rings. Never have been. But, um, yeah, we're going to have that a bit later. So that would be nice. <coughs> so when I think back, you know, a little while ago, I was only eating soup. So it's like massive improvements. And the doctor, when I saw him, he said, you will probably find you can't get things from one side of your mouth to the other. And I felt like well i can to a certain extent depends whereabouts on my tongue that is or but i'm learning ways so i do feel that um i'm a little bit ahead of their curve every time when they say something you know that i'm i'm kind of ahead of their what they expect so i do feel good about that i don't feel so good about my speech i know everyone keeps telling me that i sound okay i sound normal and if i didn't tell them that I had an operation they'd never have known, but I know, and I can't sing. I mean, I, there, it is a, probably a school of thought that I couldn't sing before, but <laughs> I used to like singing along to songs and I find that hard now. It's it's a bit annoying. I, I do give it some welly when I'm on my own, but, and I was si singing along with some of them in the garden, but it just annoys me that my tongue doesn't work the way I want it to. And it, it kind of brings it home to me when I do. And I do have a bit of a sing. I definitely won't karaoke anymore, that's for sure. Unless there's songs that don't have J sounds or S sounds in it, 
Um, find me a song that doesn't and I'll learn it. <laughs> it's the only way I'm going to do it. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, not a bad, not a bad um, thing. Uh, normally, if I'd eaten that kind of stuff, I'd have put on about £10. So that's not bad. So the healing is taking the calories. But, you know, wouldn't it be better if the healing took my blubber and I just went this way? I can't understand it. Why they want me to eat? It's perfect time in my life to lose some weight, really. I know I have lost some because well, I've lost some inches. I know that for sure because um, everything's baggier. Um, so, yeah, they did say my overall size would probably be smaller because I've got fluid. And I still do have some fluid. Especially now laying down. I'm going to lay down at night now and that obviously makes fluid more or collect more. So I've still got a couple of open with me to do for this channel. I do apologise for the fact that I haven't done them. And also that my Slim Chat was later yesterday. But um, there was a sale on and I needed some garden furniture big time. And it was it went down to beyond half price. So you can't stand between a woman and a sale, you know. So I had to rush to the store because I knew they would go like that. And... We had to make two trips, and by the time we'd come back for the second trip, the last one had been sold. So we did really well getting there early and uh, getting the first one. Um, but it's pretty nice, I'll tell you. We sat on... Well, I didn't. Gary sat on it. I did sit on one of the chairs without the padding. It's nice-looking furniture. Makes the decking a little bit overstocked. It wouldn't if I took my egg chair down, but I'm not going to do that. That's <laughs> why so I want it on there, you know. That's where I want to sit, and I want to be able to see the sea on my egg chair, and I love that thing. So um, last night, Gary sat on the sofa bar, and we had our drinks on the coffee table. Mine was just a chocolate milkshake. I have to say, no alcohol for me ever again. And I, and I say that. I, I don't know if that's going to be gospel, but, you know, I don't. I don't think I will chance it knowing that it causes the condition that I had even though it probably didn't cause it in my case I didn't drink enough to have it cause it in my case but you know oh, I never want to go through that again anything remotely like it so uh, yeah I'll do all I can to make that never happen you know so I just say to Mike give up smoking now you have it in your family it's in your genes that you have this maybe predisposition for it get rid of the smoking now and he said oh i'll, I'll join the gym soon i'll give it up you know now <laughs> it's now you know but you know kids always their own little you know personalities and can't tell him anything can you but you know hopefully it will be he'll be he does when he gives it up he can really you know really give it up and i don't know why it ever creeps back in with him he doesn't need to do it but you know it's like one of those things isn't it he always enjoys it in the summer it remembers back to when he used to enjoy it in the summer and it's like when all things you give up you forget the bad stuff you only remember the good stuff and it pulls you back in pulls you back in that is not the movie quote the movie quote of the day yesterday did you say yoot what is a yoot yeah two yoots what is a yoot got trina rash got that new one for me that is hi trina gloria s darla antonio and jane you all got that it was my cousin Vinny. absolutely love that movie now this one i'm gonna try right. the pellet with the poison is in the vessel with the pestle the chalice from the palace has a brew that is true got it yes you don't know how happy i am because i keep messing that up the pellet with the poison in the vessel with the pestle the chalice from the palace has a brew that is true what's that from i absolutely adore that man Absolutely adored that man. All through my childhood, I loved his movies and I loved him. And um, fantastic, brilliant actor. 
brilliant singer, brilliant entertainer, lovely man as far as I know as well. Fantastic, all round, brilliant entertainer. What's the name of the film? And that absolutely gorgeous man, what's his name? So um, I loved that film. I loved all his films. I don't think he made a bad one. And I would that always, always, always as well when I think of him and others around that era, it always brings me some sort of really fond memories of my mum because we used to watch those movies together. She was the one that kind of got me into all that and uh, all those, um, I won't say, because it give it away. But all of those movies, they have big, big, big place in my heart with my mum uh, and memories. It's uh, good times, good times. Um, so, good luck with that one. <laughs> I'm so psyched that I actually remembered it the right way round, you know. I don't think people would have noticed if I got it the wrong way round. But I didn't. I got it the right way round. <clears throat> so, yeah, today... Um, not feeling very hungry and I've got to get into the habit of eating at regular time because yesterday, oh, we were on our second journey and I was rumbling. I was so, so hungry. So I hadn't eaten all day and it was almost like half two or three o'clock. And in the end, Gary said, well, maybe we'll grab something out. And everything that you grab out tastes vile. I can't eat McDonald's, can't eat burgers. I can't eat KFC, the grease tastes disgusting. I just, I, nothing. He said, do you want to go to the Bobbin Apple or the Jenny Wren and eat out? And I was like, no, not really. Because, you know, I don't, I, I just don't know what I like in those places. And I said, let's just, let's just grab some chips. Let's just grab some chips. I know they're nice and I can eat them. We'll just grab some chips. And he said, but you won't want your dinner. And he was true, he was right. But I said, look, look at the time. Um, and we haven't had anything yet. And that could be why I feel so weak because, you know, in hospital, you, they kept shoving food down me at regular intervals and I didn't want it because I'm not used to, like, breakfast, lunch, dinner. You know, I'm, I'm used to breakfast, dinner, maybe a snack in the evening. That's kind of the way I always... For many, many years, as a, as a, even as a child, never, ever did I eat breakfast. I would just have school dinner, dinner when I got home. And that was that was how I kind of got used to my eating pattern. It was... Probably, you know, most kids got up in a nice way by their mums, had their breakfast made for them and had their hair brushed for them. <laughs> well, I didn't get up like that. <laughs> I love my mum. My mum was fantastic, but she was a lazy person in the mornings. She was dreadful. I used to get woken up by this screeching, Tracy! And I mean, just like that. It's time for school! Get up! And I'll have a cup of tea! It makes me sound like a slave, but I wasn't. You know, she doted on me, but she was just not a morning mother. So I had to get up, make her tea, and myself one, take it to her, and get myself ready for school. And there was never time, because I would lay there and lay there and lay there, and she would scream and scream and scream at me until eventually I got up. Um, so I was always running late, so I never had time to eat. Um, and if I was lucky, there was... A little bit of time to make a sandwich for lunch as I got older. But when I was younger, I had school dinner. That was fine. But as I got older, they became disgusting, so I wouldn't eat them. So I took either money or a sandwich. So um, I was always late, always running late, which became a problem when we moved here because I had to get a school bus. So I had to be there on time. And quite often I'd miss it, so I'd oh, not worth going, not worth going. So... Um, that was me. I never went. And I, do you know what? I passed all my exams. You no, know, I didn't go. And um, one teacher always said to me, can you imagine what you'd achieved if you'd been here? And I always played on my mind. So I think that is really the reason why I did it all as a mature student. You know, I went back to find out and I passed these various exams and went to uni. But I could have done it at my age. I couldn't be bothered. A bit like Paul. He, was, he took after me in that respect. Thankfully, Mike didn't. He was a little bit... Um, he was a live wire for many, many years at school. But then when he settled down, he did it all at the right age. So, um, you know, that was good for him. But um, I wish I'd been a bit more like that. I was just too involved in having a good time. 
and I couldn't be bothered. And plus, I wasn't stupid, and I was quite bright. So I, I really felt like I didn't need it, you know. <laughs> so, uh, this is a piece of paper who needs that. <laughs> the, I was one of those, a classic case of um, having a mature brain, but at the same time an immature brain. So I had a mature brain in a lot of ways. I was old for my age, so I knew what I wanted and what I didn't want. But at the same time, not mature enough to realise that this is what dictates your future. Um, people told me, but, you know, who listens to old folk? Who? No one. Which is why my kids don't listen to me. Because I'm just con I'm just considered a crusty old person. They don't listen to me. Well, I think Paul listens now. <laughs> Paul's, um, yeah, he does listen. He does. Sometimes, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to get off and upload this. I, um... I don't know what I'm going to do for breakfast. Probably eggs. Might do boiled eggs, you know, with soldiers. I know that's a very English thing, soldiers, but I do have some gluten-free bread. And we toast it and we cut it into strips and we dip it in our soft boiled eggs. They're called soldiers. Or just dippy bread if you want to not be a child. But when you're a kid, you have boiled egg and soldiers. So I think I'll probably do that today. Something a little bit different other than a scrambled egg or... Egg on toast might be a nice one. I like a bit of egg on toast. So we'll see. But I definitely have eggs, I think, today. And uh, although I'm not really hungry, I need to get into into sort of a... No, I hate the word routine. It's really not me. Routine is sucks. I hate the word routine. Even when I had babies, you know, so when they were little, I couldn't face the idea of getting them into a routine. And people say, oh, it'll be all right when they get their routine. I was like, no, they won't be getting a routine. My children are going to be spontaneous like me. They're not going to have routines. Of course they do. You know, they eat when they want to eat. Um, and they get a pattern, which I suppose is a routine. But <clears throat> I won't go be dictated to by a clock ever in my life. That's the way I looked at it. Routine, schmoutine. Anyway, I think Formula One is on this weekend, which is brilliant for me, but not for Gary, because he's working days now, so he'll miss it, which is sad. But there's always the highlights, and he doesn't mind watching them. But I like watching it with him. So that's the drawback to him working days, um, is that um, we won't get to watch that together when he's working. Um, obviously, some of them will fall on his off days, which will be brilliant. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get off and upload this and the other one, get them put on. Um, before I end up late again, but this one will be through my sleepy tardiness, which I obviously needed. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take care. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and wang your way over to um, Rocksteady as well and give that channel some love because it really needs it. Thanks for watching. Love to everyone. Bye for now.